One of the things that I've been very intrigued by is the power and mystery of computing. The first sentence of the book that Jeff and John Hopcroft and I wrote, The Design and Analysis of Computer Algorithms, begins with the sentence, algorithms are at the very heart of computer science. Jeffrey Ullman and Alfred Aho helped develop formal language theory by inventing efficient algorithms which would later become the algorithms at the heart of the tasks of a compiler. Both Al and I were involved in uh, the early stages of, of automata theory and, and, and language theory. Uh, in summer of 65, I'd gone to work for Seymour Ginsburg out in uh, Santa Monica. And I picked it up there. I think Al worked with uh, John Hopcroft, picked it up from him at, at essentially the same time. So we started to think about where does automata theory and language theory, where does it apply uh, best? And uh, that naturally led us to look at, uh, at compiling. And if we look at a compiler, it really consists of a front end where you do analysis of the source program lexical analysis, syntax analysis, semantic analysis, map it into some kind of intermediate representation, and then you have a back end that maps the intermediate representation into code that can be executed by the underlying computer. The primary step that we took was uh, in the design of, of, a, of a parser generator, uh, which became YAC. It was Jeff who coined the term YAC for yet another compiler compiler. It was developed by Steve Johnson, one of our colleagues, but the three of us worked in concert uh, trying to develop some of the algorithms and theory behind YAC, and Steve was the one who implemented it. Ullman and Aho's contribution to both the theory and practice of computer languages has earned them the 2020 ACM AM Turing Award. Compilers, translating high-level computer language into a more basic set of instructions exists today largely in part due to Aho and Ullman's contribution in this field of research. So how did the two meet? And more importantly, how were they able to foster such a strong bond of collaboration? Al, Al says we met at, uh, on the registration line at Princeton in, in I guess, 63. Uh, I have to admit, I don't remember that. I don't think we had any notion, of, even the notion of collaboration didn't perhaps come up until we were at, uh, at Bell Labs together. We joined this fledgling uh, computing science research center at Bell Labs. It was the research center that invented the Unix operating system, the C and C++ programming languages, and made a number of other foundational contributions to computer science. So it was a environment where we were surrounded by brilliant people doing very interesting things, and the whole atmosphere was teeming with interesting research problems. Ullman and Aho eventually put all the findings from the research and published Compilers, Principles, Techniques, and Tools, now known simply as the Dragon Book. Al and I had the sense that what we were talking about in that book was some really important tools that made the writing of, of certain aspects of a compiler much, much simpler than you'd think at, at first glance. And it seems to have worked. My daughters came to me and said they saw this movie, Hackers, with a young Angelina Jolie in it. And in the movie, the cover of the Dragon Book was flashed on the screen. And for the first time in their life, they thought, hey, our old man is really something. Computational thinking is very much like writing. Everybody needs to know how, know how to write a reasonable sentence. Similarly, I think everybody needs to understand what the programming process is, even though you may not be writing code as a profession. If you've read Yuval Harari, he wrote a book called Homo Deus. And at the end of the book, he asked some interesting questions. Two of them are, are organisms just algorithms, and is life just data processing? So I will leave it at that. Learn more about the Turing Award recipients in the June 2021 Communications of the ACM.